Good afternoon, it's David Schlothauer with a tropical update on Tropical Storm Arlene for Friday afternoon, June the 2nd. As always, my thoughts in this video are mine alone, and making those decisions regarding Arlene, consult the National Hurricane Center and your local officials for the best latest information for where you are. So this is a look at the latest visible satellite imagery on Tropical Storm Arlene, and this really is very innocuous, not really very organized by any means at all. One could even argue it's even a tropical storm at all. So we can see here we have deep convection that is very well weighted on the northeastern quadrant of the circulation. The surface slow is right here roughly. So it's really on the uh, southwesternmost end of the deeper convection. And all what we have left here is a naked swirl mostly on the southwestern side, on the eastern side, even on the south uh, uh, northwestern side of the circulation, as dry air is really increasing and the shear is really taking a toll on Arlene. Probably not gonna be a named storm by tonight, the way it looks, really just uh, very innocuous looking. This look at the latest uh, water vapor imagery and we can see why the system is struggling. Not only we have the shear, we have this westerly flow really hitting Arlene uh, in the face from uh, the west. We got drier air that is underneath this. This darker patch of gray uh, or even some darker gray colors indicate that the atmosphere here is quite stable and pretty dry. We're looking at relative humidity values in the mid-levels under 15 or 20%, which is not what you want for a tropical system to thrive in. You want a lot of these brighter gray colors and white colors, which indicate a lot more moisture. So all this drier air to the south and to the west is going to eventually lead to Arlene to decouple. When we take a look at the recon aircraft here, we can see that the pressure has not fallen very much. Just a couple of millibars in their uh, five pass mission when they flew through the center and they have found tropical storm force winds on the northern quadrant of the circulation uh, but they have not found hardly any tropical depression force winds on the southern side which means this is very um very asymmetric it's really really uh weighted on the northern side where you're seeing the strongest winds and the, these winds too are even not even on land so this is really not a huge issue at all that's why this is going to be a pretty quick update so when we take a look at the gfs model this is our moisture plot that i always like looking at and when we kind of um, play this through here clearly uh, we can see our darker green colors indicate a lot of moisture okay relative humidity <laughs> values anywhere between 75 and 100 percent and our brown colors here indicate drier air and we will see that the system is going to decouple we might even be seeing that already occurring so it won't surprise me very much in their next advisory if this even gets downgraded back down to a tropical depression yet again so going forward we can see that decoupling happen i mean there is your vortex there's what is left with it in the mid levels and our surface vortex is over here so what we have here by saturday morning is a very significant decoupled uh, vortex the mid-level vortex over florida while the remnants of the surface vortex is still over the open gulf waters and the reason why this is not going to intensify or reorganize is because you got a lot of the dry air and you got a lot of this shear just really strong out of the westerly direction in fact shear is going to only increase probably to about 40 to 60 knots over the next 24 to 36 hours, which means there is no chance for this thing to even organize at all or really come back. Uh, I'm even surprised this is still even a tropical storm by all means, given how poorly organized the system is. I mean, this really hasn't changed much since yesterday and only the plane found in those tropical storm force winds, which can kind of technically designate this as a tropical storm, our first named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season. And speaking of that, this is the second day of the hurricane season and we're already starting off active uh, for the month of June. So we can see here, um, shear upper level winds from the west, this subtropical jet is really amplified. And so therefore, 
uh, Arlene is not going to be able to strengthen at all. I mean, the conditions are only going to become less favorable over the next uh, 36 to 48 hours. In fact, Shear could even get higher, possibly even at 70 or 80 knots, even 100 knots perhaps once this gets over Cuba, which means there is just no, no there's just no life left in this system. So therefore, um, the National Hurricane Center does project that this will be a tropical depression probably by tonight into tomorrow, and then a remnant low even before it hits Cuba. So there is no tropical storm watches or warnings at this time. There is no fear. There is no scare of anything to happen on Cuba. This is going to just be a teeny little swirl that might bring in some breezy winds, and that's really about it. This is, this is going to really fall apart, and I just don't see any life left with this system whatsoever. Well, that's going to do with today's tropical update. If you liked this video a lot, please consider sharing this, subscribing, and also hitting the like button. And I'll be back with you with a second video today looking at the entire United States because there is more active weather on the way.